Hey guys, how's it going? Scott Eats here. Today we are in South Surrey, British Columbia at Aichawawa. We're here to take on their five to six pound burrito challenge. Now, we don't have the exact time quite yet. I'll give you the details once we get inside, but I'm joined with my friend, Mr. Joel Hansen to take on this humongous burrito. I've never done a burrito challenge, so I'm super excited. Plus, I went to the gym with my friend, Mr. Joel Hansen before here, so we're starving. We can't get wait to get started. This thing's gonna be massive. It's gonna be delicious, and thank you for joining, guys. Let's hop inside and see what we got going there. Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're at I Chihuahua in South Surrey, which is in the Vancouver area. We're here to take on their massive burrito challenge. So we have about a three foot burrito, which is, I thought was gonna be about five or six. Ends up it's about six to seven, it's closer there. So um, it looks delicious, it smells delicious. We're both starving. Joel, what do you think? I'm ready to eat, we're both ready to eat. Yeah, so we're starving guys. We just had that workout that I talked about, so Nothing else to do but uh, dig in. It's gonna get messy, it's gonna get tasty. So thanks for joining us, guys. Hi everyone, so we're gonna start it here. We'll say the count of, how about five, four, three, two, one. Good luck, Scott. Good luck. Mm, I forgot the log. Oh. Yeah. Mm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Salsa. That's delicious. Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. We're here today at I Chihuahua in Surrey, British Columbia, just outside of Vancouver, and we're here to take on their massive six to seven pound wet burrito. Now we've got 30 short minutes to defeat the challenge, and if we do, we'll get the meal for free. That beef and guac and everything in there, woo! Mm. Mm. Uh, 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 
Now I started the timer when they started going two minutes, 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. They go, yeah. Like, <laughs> you want to say maybe three minutes? Yeah. All right, guys, looks like we're mostly done the burritos here. So I wanted to thank you for joining me on this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Hope I left you hungry for more. And if I did, you know what to do. We'll see you on the next one. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. Probably maybe like three and a half minutes now. Three minutes, 30 seconds so far. 3.40, something like that. Yeah. So, very good. Pretty sure I'm done. Yeah. Leave no doubt. What do you guys say, finish? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just finishing up right now. <laughs> Almost threw shrapnel at it, but I didn't. And there's more than that. Gotta clean my hands, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Very good though, very delicious. Love the guacamole, love the sauces in there, love the flavors. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that means comments to the chef in many cultures. <laughs> Beef is delicious. Mm. Just absolutely delicious. And such like, authentic, the family here is coming from Mexico. Authentic flavors, you can tell. If you've ever had authentic Mexican food, which is hard to come by in Canada, this will give you a first taste of it. It is fantastic. I'm definitely gonna order a couple more items because Scott is very new to that Mexican, authentic Mexican realm. And now, I'm gonna introduce him to it further. Delicious. So two on the end of Scott, you can finish up. He's doing really well, just a couple bites away. Ugh, can't say enough, that was wow. fantastic. Bravo, bravo. bravo. Five minutes, so both of us did really well. Again, nice. I forgot my gloves, he did gloves, so he's the smarter guy there. But uh, <laughs> Scott, what do you think, bro? Oh, it's so tasty. Um, that's what helped it go down so quickly. That's my first burrito challenge, and yeah. Oh, first. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so there we have it. That was the most delicious burrito challenge I've ever done. And not only my only one, but it's so good that we're gonna have some more after this. I got in just around the five minute mark. Joel, probably around the three minute and 40 ish second mark. New record here. So, if you guys are ever in the South Surrey area in the greater Vancouver region, there, come here, try it out. Not just the burritos, but we're going to try their other food as well. So, you guys can do the same. Thanks for joining us. And uh, stick with us, and we're going to try some more items. Delicious. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here today. We are at I Chihuahua, guys. This is an absolutely delicious spread of authentic Mexican food. Scott has never had really an authentic Mexican food before, so we're changing that today, guys. Here we have some delicious pozole, a very authentic Mexican stew. Uh, we have tacos, we have fish tacos, we have chorizo, we got uh, carne asada, we have El Pastor, we have all delicious street tacos, we have chimichangas, we have taco dorados, we have tostadas. Like every, it just, it's, this is my favorite stuff, guys. I love authentic Mexican food. This is so authentic. We also have a number of different uh, pico de gallos, uh, chili verde, we have a red salsa as well. Scott, yeah. what do you think, dude? Well, I know it smells good. It looks delicious. I just can't wait to taste it, so. It smells good, yeah. looks good, so let's get eating here. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna start with a taco. Okay. This is a chorizo, I believe. Got some guac, and all the delicious fixings on it as well. I'm a very much a big salsa and sauce guy. This is another one of their hot sauces. I'll try a bit of it there. Wanna try some? Sure. Take her away. Mm. 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 Oh boy. Mm -hmm. mm. Dude, those flavors. 
chorizo has got a nice little spice there. Mm. And the salsa adds a little bit more kick to it as well. This was spices. Oh mm. my god. Mm. Mm. I can barely talk. <laughs> oh god. The onion. The warm spices they have going on there. Mm. Probably a little bit of pico on it. Yeah. Damn. That is probably the best, honestly, chorizo little street top I've ever had in my life. That is just beautiful. Too good. All right. Only getting better. Mm. Mm. Cheers. I'll choose you on that one. Mm. 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 Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's too good. I think this is uh, this be the El Pastor. Sorry, I'm not waiting for you. No. Nope. This is too good. Try some of the chili verde on it. Put some sauce as well, brother. Oh, hold on. The second one? Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mm. It's just too good. That's beautiful. Look at that meat. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna be able to speak. I think this video is just gonna consist of mostly me saying, "Oh my God! Oh my God! Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> this is so good." So we are just in the uh, basically Vancouver area, South Surrey, to be specific. South Surrey, right near the border, right near the border. Um, Canada in general doesn't have a lot of Mexicans. So, we have authentic Mexican food here. It's like such a treat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's nice. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stick with the chocolate, man. I love these so much. That's what I was thinking too. Going on this, uh, where are we gonna go with next? This is the uh, carne asada, I believe. The beef. Yeah. Where's the beef? There it is. Delicious. Oh. If you want beef, then bring the records. Put on this, I like this with the hot sauce. Dude, the avocado, the guac, the onions and stuff they put on this. Oh, yeah. Look at that guac. It's a nice, healthy serving, too, of guacamole. Look at that. It's almost all the tacos. Yeah. And then we have a tacos doradas. Okay. A taco dorado. Which are like a deep fried taco. And then he's got one chicken and I believe one beef. Got some uh, pico on top. Got some guac as well. Some sour cream. Some queso fresco. And I'll try to, sh I try to show you a little more, but we just small. But uh, cheers. cheers. Cheers on this one. Ooh. Great flavor that fried pork tortilla. That's front. And the guac, and the queso, and the sour cream. Adding a nice savory aspect. All right, so what do we got? Actually, wait, we still got fish tacos. Okay. Fish tacos, bro. I'm down for the fish tacos. I don't know about that. Got a uh, chipotle mayonnaise on here. Got a nice looking slaw. Looks like a good one. I like all these things. Everything so far has been fantastic. Um, but I have absolutely no complaints. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Comments in the chat. 
How's the fish? Didn't try it yet. I was going to, but I thought I'd wait. Cheers. Took this in. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. Really great flavor on that chipotle. Mm -hmm. Nice and smoky. The slaw is a really nice crunch to that warm deep fried fish. It's a catch. Yeah, it is a catch. Mm. I like that sauce. Chipotle. It's very, very delicious. I like the hot sauce that I've got here too. They're actually very well done here for the chimichanga, which is something I find so interesting. Because my exposure has been quite limited to chimichanga, but this looks delicious. Deep fried burrito, essentially, guys. Dressed in beautiful sauces. Oh, yeah. We got some, again, the pico, queso fresco, guac on there. Enjoy, Scotty Boy. Cheers. Very rich, very warm. Has on this nice guac. Salsa, pico, fresco. Mm. Very tender. Full of flavor. Soft, warm. This I would describe like a comfort food. Mm -hmm. The added toppings are just very, very fresh. Nice chunks of meat in there. I just love. The meat so tender is just melting in the mouth. So absolutely delicious. A great this hot sauce. Great texture. Oh yeah, love the spice. Love that sauce. Mm -hmm. Great flavors. Quickly go to Tostada, Tostada guys. Got a beautiful crispy bit underneath that is fried. Queso, sour cream, guac. I got a chicken one here. Chicken one there. Salsa. This is a good good size too. I, I can, this is one thing you cannot fit all in my mouth. I can all talk about that, but not what it is. Feels like beer. Feels like beer. Feels it's a great choice to leave to the end. Refried beef on there as well. <coughs> Sorry, I inhaled it. It's that good. Oh. Woo. That's fantastic. Yeah. So good. It's a nice flavorful part, the whole thing. Everything goes so well together. <coughs> Sorry, I still got it in my windpipe. <laughs> you gotta eat it, guys. Don't breathe it. Love it. Got warmth, got crisp. I have freshness of the pico, the guac. I 
I'm gonna start judging the size of things <laughs> by my mouth. So tacos are like less than one jaw mouth. The tostada is about one and one third jaw mouth. <laughs> that was delicious. Dude, how was your first exposure? It was awesome. To yeah, me. I mean, enjoyed all the sauces. I enjoyed definitely the food. The sauce is just uh, just gonna drink the salt. Enhanced. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the flavors. I love, love, love authentic Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone in the Greater Vancouver area, definitely come on by Chihuahua. Chihuahua. It, it is as authentic as you're going to get. Food was good. I'd like to thank Jose here. He was excellent. Uh, if you guys ever come in here, say, call, tell him Jose, say, hey, we saw those two crazy guys on YouTube. Tell him I saw, the, I saw those guys that ate way too much. <laughs> seriously, though, guys, seriously, Chihuahua, great food. Would recommend this place. Absolutely loved it. We ate pretty much the whole menu, guys. Um, they also have taco salads. If you want taco salads, we got a few more items, guys, burritos and such, obviously. So, anyway, until next time, thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to Ichua. And of course, say hi to the younger happy getting out of the day. This you can actually do today. This you can do. You can come get yourself some food. I would recommend filling the table. You don't need that much. Only I do. You don't need that much. But seriously, guys, it's so good. Scott, get to pick a favorite. What was it? Uh, I, I, I guess the, uh, the soup, which was the, the pozole? pozole, yeah, that was really good. It had a nice uh, peppery flavor to it, so, and had the nice tender meat in there as well, and it just made you feel nice and warm because it's uh, a little bit colder out nowadays. So. You know, if I had to go for it, obviously, guys, all the street tacos, the, the chorizo was exceptional, the uh, carne asada was exceptional, and I also very, very much love those tostadas and the taco dorados. I love everything, I love, I love everything, guys. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Yeah. 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 Anyway, guys. Till next time, like I said, just have a lovely life. Much love. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Bless them down below if you like this video. Of course, comment, subscribe, feel free to share. Till next time, we're going to bring you some more eats, some more food. I love you.